Hello, this is Nikki, and I'm here with... Hi, this is Joe Harris. And we are from Morgan Financial, and today we're going to talk about forbearance. So Joe, what is forbearance? Well, in its simplest form, forbearance is basically the postponement of mortgage payments um, by a servicer or a lender or a bank for the customer or borrower. And why is forbearance an issue? So forbearance, again, in forbearance, the lender, servicer, the bank, whoever has that mortgage and is servicing it, allows the borrower to not make payments. So sometimes these payments are tacked on to the end of the loan. Sometimes they're made to be paid in a lump sum after a certain period in any way they're, they're done a lot of different ways but in any event even though that borrower is not making the payment that bank the servicer the lender they have to still make that payment and they have to pay the escrows um, to for, prevent property from going into foreclosure because of you know lack of payment on escrows so it's causing a huge cash crunch right now for the for the, the servicers out there and even worse if a loan goes into forbearance um, prior to going to Fannie Mae, a couple days ago, um, Fannie Mae wouldn't buy the loan. So that caused the lender to not be able to lend out more money because their t money was tied up. Now Fannie Mae's come out and said, we'll buy loans in forbearance, but there's going to be a penalty, a 5% penalty. In other words, 5% of the loan amount, which is still a lot of money um, if the borrower is a first time home buyer, 7% if they're, you know, they've bought homes before. But in any event, it's still causing cash crunches. Um, and that cash crunch is causing a lot of other, a lot of other issues for these lenders. So forbearance is, is causing a lot of issues throughout the financial world right now. There's about 4 million people in forbearance right now. Wow. So with that being said, how is forbearance affecting the market? Well, you know, because of this, lenders are very anxious, um, reluctant to lend out money. I mean, they, they want to lend money because that's how they make money. But if they feel like a borrower is going to go into forbearance right off the bat, that they're not going to want to lend the money. So they tighten up credit guidelines, you know, credit scores, um, program guidelines. Uh, programs are disappearing. You know, we're seeing uh, a big, big, big one of the biggest lenders out there said that they're not doing cash out refinances for borrowers. Um, we've seen jumbo programs tighten up. We've seen non QM, which are loans that don't fit the Fannie Freddie box or VA or FHA or USDA, we're seeing those completely, almost completely disappearing. And, um, and we're seeing borrowers who might have gotten financing a couple of weeks ago have troubles right now. So the, the rates are still great. They could be better because the lenders are padding their rates right now because there's all these other issues in the back end. But they're still incredible right now. There's still a lot of great opportunities to buy houses uh, for those people with stable employment, good credit, and um, good income. So, Awesome. Well, thank you, Joe, for clearing up um, those questions regarding forbearance. If you're an agent, um, a client, or you're just looking potentially to get some questions or answers um, from questions that you have about forbearance or anything mortgage related, we are here to help. Um, give us a call and we look forward to seeing you next time. Please yeah. like, share, and comment um, below. Thank you all. We'll see you next time.